We check in now with Barbara Luna. Again, here is our Pennsylvania THA Turning for Home Graduate of the Week. Hi, I'm Barbara Luna, the program administrator for the PTHA's Turning for Home, Philadelphia Park's Racehorse Retirement Program. We've been talking about these racehorses after they retired, going on to careers as show horses and doing more athletic things. These are special horses working with special children. El Frio is a professional athlete. He thrived in his seven years on the racetrack. It's all he knows. As a nine-year-old, he won for fun on April 21st of this year at Philadelphia Park, racing against horses half of his age. El Frio, the nine-year-old, begins to pull away. El Frio by two and a half by three. It's El Frio from off the pace to win it. Sadly, just four months after this impressive victory, El Frio seriously injured a front leg doing what he loved to do. His trainer, Randy Allen, will miss the lively chestnut gelding who was in his barn for his entire career. I bought him for $500 as a two-year-old. He's nine years old. He's never been out in a pasture. He's lived here at Philadelphia Park for the last seven years. He knows, he knows nothing but the racetrack, but he's been one of the kindest horses you'd ever meet. My daughter is best friends with him. He ran 115 times in his life. He was 112 starts at Philadelphia Park. Uh, he made 150, 160,000. You know, he's meant a lot to me. You gonna miss him? El Frio was intense, competitive, and courageous. So it was almost natural that when he retired, he would go to a special place where injured humans could find solace with an animal with which they have so much in common. Special Equestrians is a nonprofit organization in Warrington, Pennsylvania, whose mission is to improve the physical, mental, and emotional well being of individuals with disabilities through the equine experience. The caring staff has taken over El Frio's healing and rehabilitation in hopes that the youngsters and adults who take part in their programs will connect with the four legged injured athlete. Our program overall provides therapeutic riding to people with disabilities, 80% of whom are children, and we have hippotherapy for our most profoundly disabled children. We have a youth connections program for at-risk youth, and in that program we are able to introduce the at-risk youth to therapeutic riding, and we're also able to teach them some marketable skills, and now we'll be able to in include this whole new component to introduce them to these horses and hopefully develop a, a connection to the horses and also to help them develop more empathy for the animals and we're very excited about that. You ready? Dylan? You ready to come to your new home? Dylan? Look at you. Both Tammy and farm manager Marika Jones met El Frio when he arrived from Philadelphia Park. Although he hobbled from the trailer to his spacious stall, he immediately took to his new environment. His care will entail the use of a special shoe on that injured leg and a gradual exercise program to stretch the torn ligaments that ended his career on the track. Mark cares for Goodman's girl, another retiree from turning for home with a similar injury, and she has seen remarkable progress with her in the few weeks she has been at Special Equestrians. When she came, her ankle was huge, um, and the swelling has gone down. She's putting weight on it. Uh, she goes for walks with us. She's really great around everybody. I mean, she's just, everyone likes her, and she hangs out, and she's just putting weight on and just starting to look really good again and, you know, starting to fatten up like a horse. People who think of thoroughbreds as just racehorses who go out there and go fast and are really high strung, they'd probably be really surprised to see how she's settled in here. Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of people have the mentality that racehorses are crazy and they never calm down and, you know, once they're a racehorse, they're always a racehorse and she's absolutely not. She's totally relaxed and laid back and has a really great personality. Dr. Bobby Schneider owns racehorses at Philadelphia Park and supports the new program for their care at Special Equestrians. One of the cool things that Special Equestrians has is they devote a wall outside the horse's stall for information about the horse's pedigree, for pictures of the horse when he was winning races, um, some pictures of the kids. Sad to see him go. Very sad. Very sad. But better they take care of him than him just being here unhappy. Being a happy home, people taking care of him, loving him the way they should. Someone once said, to many the words love, hope, and dream are synonymous with horses. El Frio and Goodman's Girl will touch the hearts and minds of the special children who come out to this beautiful farm for therapy. Since Turning for Home opened its doors in May 2008, we have helped over 300 horses in their rehabilitation from racetrack injuries and found loving homes for many of them. For Let's Go Racing, I'm Barbara Luna. Of course, one of the big efforts for Turning for Home is their fundraising program, and they had a big benefit dinner this past week up in Newtown, Pennsylvania at beautiful La Stala Restaurant. 
$25 a head, and there was a lot of great festivities up in Newtown, and here's more on the big benefit dinner. I think it's important in this industry that people give back to their horses, and a way to give back to their horses to make sure that they have a good home. So I think everyone, um, jockeys, owners, trainers, all think that it's a wonderful program so that we can give back and make sure that the horses have a good home when they're retired from racing. And judging by the outpouring of owners, jockeys, and trainers that are here tonight, it seems like everyone's all on the same on the same course for taking care of these horses. And your daughter Ainsley's here too, and she's been a big help. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, we all love the horses. I mean, let's face it, most people don't really get in this business to make money. What they do is because they love the animals, they love the thrill of the sport. And I just think it's a great opportunity to get everyone together, have a nice time, and talk about the things that we are so passionate about and what we love so much, which is the horses. Well, we at Turning for Home can't thank you enough, Lisa. I appreciate all your hard work on this. La Stella Restaurant in Newtown has been great. The food is great, and we're hoping everyone had a great time tonight, and the horses will definitely benefit from this effort.